Hey guys, <clears throat> I'm not going to uh, start with my normal intro, I just feel it's inappropriate given what's going on tonight. Um, I'm recording this video not long after missiles were sent at our army bases in Iraq. And I wanted to do a reading episode tonight, mainly because the last two episodes for this week are going to be um, somewhat lengthy in content, considering I'm basically combining the various shaman shamanism forms ancient shamanism forms in a couple of videos and the reason why I'm doing that is well one I kind of want to start getting into the meat and potatoes of things and I want to progress into my normally planned out routine for my channel and the only way I can do that is if I just get through the last of it between Thursday and Friday of this week um, so we can move along. Tonight I was actually going to do a reading earlier about how things were going to happen, not because, and I know, there's always going to be people who are going to accuse that, oh, you're trying to cash in on human tragedy or world tragedy, and I'm really not. I'm just a person like the rest of you who hears and sees the news and is scared to death of what this means and while I was shuffling the cards the sacral chakra popped out of the deck which is somewhat ironic given the fact that I have a sinking feeling in the pit of my stomach and that's where the sacral chakra is. Um. Let me pull out the book for a moment because I want to see if there's anything more that it says about that. Unless they don't have... Okay, so they have the cards separated apparently. Sorry, I'm looking for the shocker cards. There it is, 155. Uh, I've only ever used this deck on my channel. I haven't really used it apart from that. So I'm still not 100% familiar on all the card meanings and everything. Um, sacral chakra, orange. Water, testicles, ovaries, keywords, I want. The second chakra is located two fingers below your navel and relates to emotions. There you go. Desires, creativity, and sexuality. To keep this chakra balanced and its energy flowing, try dancing, moving your hips, lower abdomen. Use a color meditation and practice yoga. Express your sexuality and nurture yourself, and remember, you do matter. Well, I don't think that that popped out for that specific reason today. I'm going to guess that while I was shuffling, it literally popped out because I have... I, I feel sick to my stomach with everything that is transpiring as I'm recording this. So, um... Just trying to show you. That's the card. Um, I shuffled the deck and everything off camera. I 
don't know what's going to come up, what's not. Hopefully this reading gives some guidance for all of us because I know there are a lot of people who are scared to death right now and I'm not going to lie, I'm one of them. <clears throat> Especially anyone who has loved ones in the military, which of course I do. Um, anyone who's afraid of, you know, what this means. <laughs> My anxiety is spiking right now. I know I'm not the only one. This is one of those moments where it's like, with all the times that they talked about building a bunker and everything, I kind of wish I'd listened. Because <clears throat> I'd probably be in it. So, Crown Chakra is about heeding your intuition. Solitude. I think that, oh, yeah. It looks like the cards are trying to guide us on how to get through this right now. Um, like I said, I have no idea what was going to come up. Disruption. Yeah, I, I'd say this tonight was a disruption. Firm foundation. Obstacles and challenges. Patience and planning. Oh boy. Foundation and achievement. Suffering and silence. Mental conflict. Solar plexus chakra, which I believe is right at the belly button. Um, also that feeling in the pit of my stomach. I'm going to move that one off to the side. Waiting game. Balance. Intuition, that goes along with crown chakra. Throat chakra is um, literally at the throat. It's about speaking and triumph. Well. Let me do this one off to the side. Rest and rejuvenate. <clears throat> From what I'm seeing, this is not going to be a fast thing. Um, it looks like there's going to be a positive outcome in the long run, but gonna have a lot to get through during all of this. Solitude and light, I think this has mainly to do with the general public and what we're being advised to do right now. Seek things that bring us light and especially those who are prone to depression, anxiety, panic attacks, that kind of thing. Solitude is really going to be what's best for you right now. Um, and I'm right there with you. Disruption, firm foundation, obstacles and challenges, impatience and planning. This all very much reads to me like Well, planning for war, and I know we all basically know our president to be a hothead, but I'm not sure that he's going to be immediately reacting I don't know this one is because with disruption and firm foundation that was almost like 
stop. We need to think this through. We need to weed through the obstacles and challenges and we need to p actually plan this out. I actually don't think that what happened with the first attack was something that was knee jerk. I have a feeling, well, not even a feeling, I guess it had been revealed and I know I read it last night that they had thrown in that possibility as one that they didn't think that he was going to select and then he selected it to go forward with that plan to execute the people that they did. Um, but this, this reads very much like a war room to me. Like now that they've struck back, we need to come up with a game plan. That's the sense I'm getting from this. this is very much reading like if it's not going to become war if it becomes a war I don't think the war itself is going to last that long um, I get the feeling maybe a year maybe two at most and I know that sounds like a very long time and it might be, but I remember growing up, we had the uh, desert storm and just constant war for what seemed like, I don't even know when that conflict ended. It, ha it went on for years and years and years, but I don't get the feeling like this is going to be drawn out. Foundation and achievements, suffering in silence, which usually means people who know things and aren't speaking on them. And these two go right next to one another. So, yeah. This almost r reads like a weighing of the options. And like, no matter what choice they make there's going to be some sort of repercussion waiting game I'm just putting these back down the way that I drawn them um, yeah this indicates to me that he's not going to react immediately And that they're waiting for the chessboard, which, to put it quite bluntly, is basically exactly what war is. It's a matter of placing all your pieces in the right place and waiting for the enemy to place theirs in such a way that it benefits you to respond. And I know that sounds very cold and callous because this is human life and people are going to die. There's... Yeah, people are going to die in this. People on our side, people on their side. But I see that whatever gets done is going to restore some form of balance. which has been long overdue to come because quite honestly since at the very least the 90s we've been in this constant fluctuation of 
chaos with our relationship with countries in the Middle East and at least why since I've been alive <laughs> I know it goes back way before that trust me I know I know it goes back to like the 60s or 70s that all of this stuff started but I remember being a really really young kid and you never heard of any of this stuff happening at all I remember everything seemed very peaceful and the thing that we really worried about was Cold War we had the um, drills of hiding under your desk we had the drills of you know what would happen if we had some sort of attack and that was with Russia I'm intuition I'm not gonna lie I'm not sure that China's going to actually join like they said that they were going to I see Throat Chakra is speaking, so I don't know if some sort of spoken diplomatic resolution is going to come about that's going to put an end to everything and give triumph. I don't see this lasting very long at all. And that rest and rejuvenate. Let me... Let me specifically ask... And put my intentions into this about China's part in this. Let me see what comes up. Anyone who works with cards knows that feeling that you get when it's like, stop. <laughs> I don't see them joining up with Iran. I don't. I don't see them coming to their defense like they said. Base chakra is also called the root chakra. That's usually about sexuality. But let me see what it says here. Key words for the root chakra are I have. Known as the base or root chakra, this energy center is situated at the base of your spine and is closely related to all of your earthly issues such as survival, the physical body, issues of money, sustenance, safety, and shelter. Okay, that makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense that this came up when I specifically asked about China because I don't see them feeling like they have really that much benefit helping Iran. The shadow, I see them working in the shadow, stabbing them in the back. 
I don't think the emotional loss is ours. I don't think the emotional loss is necessarily theirs. <clears throat> love begins. I don't see this as being an actual love. I see this as like shaking hands and making underhanded dealings with people who are not friends with Iran. That's just what I see. And financial and material changes. Choose wisely. I, as much as we make fun of their leader, I don't think he's gonna, I think he's gonna be smart in this. Triumphant success looks like, yeah, they're going to decide that that is not in their best interest. Again, this is all alleged for entertainment purposes only to quote Amphrodite. But this is what I'm seeing right now, and of course, this is based on how things are currently. Things are always subject to change, but especially with, because here's the thing, when you have love begins and financial and material changes, those two especially, I get the feeling of like a marriage, not a literal one but more like a diplomatic one. And remember how in the previous reading I said that I had a feeling like something diplomatic might come about in this? I have a f that's gonna put an end to things and it's not gonna last very long. Uh, this might be it. And the choose wisely where they have to make a decision which route is better off for them. Is it going to be siding with Iran? Or is it going to be, you know, where does their personal interest lies, lay more with? China, for all intents and purposes, is a very atheistic country. They do not like religion and as much as they may not like us I, um, I just had a sneaky feeling you know all the shit that Trump got talking to their leader mm-hmm Mm -hmm. That shadow card. So, we'll see. At the end of the day, I think we're all hoping and praying that this doesn't blow up. Forgive the term. And obviously, I am nowhere near or even remotely close to being monetized. And this is not for personal gain. I only did this because I know we're all freaking terrified right now. We're worried about our people overseas. We're worried about our people at home. We are scared because once again, this is happening. And once again, our people are being thrown in the middle of something that they didn't start. So, this is only me trying to see what kinds of things may happen based on how things currently are and to try to help us all. I, yeah, I can't guarantee that things are going to go the way that I read them. That's how things are currently lined up to go right now. I think I can speak for us all when I just say I hope for everyone this works out. And at a minimal loss of life. Um, if I 
ever do become monetized, I will ensure that this video and that my video about wildfires are not monetized. I want to put that out there right now because I'm not looking to profit off of tragedy. I'm really not. I'm just trying to give insight and bring awareness to things and trying to I don't know, help in whatever way I can. Right now I don't have the ability to stop anything from happening or really affect change on a personal level, but if I can help in any way through my channel, I will do my best. And that's all I'm going to say on that. So, with that, let us all put out some prayers for our troops, prayers for everybody involved, and until next time, I wish us all blessings, I wish us all peace. I wish us all protection and safety and brightest blessings to you all and blessed be.